what's good y'all it's your boy love roy tv and this is a different video i'm hot as hell right now anyways um yeah you see the title i'm trying to put people on that don't know because still to this date in 2021 people are still getting fake sneakers and yeah i don't know how but they always say everybody would tell you this if any deal or whatever sounds too good to be true most likely it is long story short uh i'm gonna show you some tips and i'm gonna let y'all know my eyes getting watery but yeah i'm gonna let y'all know some tips on how to spot a fake and not get caught lacking so Make sure, like I always say, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, once we hit 1K subs, like I always say, we're doing a free giveaway at 1K. So make sure you subscribe, uh, like the video, comment, whatever. I respond to all my comments. It's mad hot. Uh, yeah, so let's get into the video and I'm gonna give you guys some tips. Uh, Alright, so for this video, I didn't know what else shoes to pick. Because my other shoes, either I tried it on, whatever. I wanted to pick something that I didn't even touch the floor, nothing. I didn't even put my feet in them. It is the Jubilee 11s. So, since this is a newer sneaker, there's more chances and risk of people, you know, get caught slipping with some fakes out there. And trust me, there's good fakes out there. I know, because I see it all the time in other youtubers videos not mine because i never had a fake sneaker in my life and i'll tell you so let's just show the jubilees real quick right oh, shoot, my nose. so look the jubilees you might get this from a person right and they might be like oh i got the jubilees it's real first things first every sneaker what i will say every sneaker is different so that's also a key right that's also a key to understand that every sneaker has different smells so for the example the jordan 11s right now first thing you do everyone that knows when you have so much real sneakers and the reason why i could brag and say real sneakers all the time because me i get it from the exact store right i never bought sneakers off nobody for personal, I never bought from a fishy website. You understand? I got it either from sneakers app or I got them in store at these stores. Finish line, Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker, all those stores. I get it, Jimmy Jazz, Snipes, whatever it is. So that's one benefit for myself. So having real pairs, you could always know that you could just feel it. Is a touch. You know how people say you feel bad vibes? You could feel in the sneaker, right? You could tell, like, oh, yeah, these are legit. Sometimes you could tell by the carbon fiber right here. Like, trust me. You watch other YouTubers and sneaker shows and channels. They'll do the key techniques I'm showing y'all. But if y'all watching this video, I'm giving y'all tips, right? So for some reason, you could always tell by the sound of this. Like, it sounds dullable, like. Like, not metal, but the material that I said before, right? You can always tell. The first tip I always tell people, smell your shoe. If it's brand new, trust and believe you will know. Because I'm pretty sure if you're watching this, you have real sneakers, clearly. But if you don't, or you bought a pair for someone because it was a good deal, maybe it was your friend, maybe it was somebody, you know, whatever. You're always going to know. And I always say do the sniff test. If I'm not lazy, I'll post the video of eBay. eBay's new, like, confirmed that it's real legit in their promo video. I'll show you if I find the video on my phone. I'm going to post it right here or after this clip. And y'all will see. Shh. All they did was smell it. But you know when you have real sneakers, the first thing you do is smell. Because you know the scent of a real sneaker. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't smell... Like it's been 
like in a washer machine or some weird funky smell because it's like it's too much weird glue scent but that's like a first step is to understand to smell your sneaker understand that if it smells a little weird then maybe it's a little off and i don't want to hear about oh i had the shoes like my own personal shoes for two years maybe the scent I, I got rid of them i traded them or maybe you bought a pair that someone had on dead stock right and you sit and they tell you oh i had it for two years that's why it smells different trust me that's not that's not a fact i had sneakers for my gamma blue 11s i have those since they came out and if i remember 2013 that's seven years and still to this day when i smell my gamma blue 11s i smell them and it still has the same exact scent because it's dead stock and i still have never worn them seven years later but also you could just feel it right within the touch you know a real sneaker right so besides feeling it smelling it just the touch of it obviously right i'm not trying to drag this video out but it's pretty simple get your shoes from the sneaker store Right, yes, you want to have a reseller, everybody want to support resellers, but that's the whole point about doing your homework. If you buy sneakers from me, you know it's legit. If you buying it from your mans in the area that started just reselling, you might be a little fishy because you're like, you was never selling sneakers, how I know it's legit. And nowadays, if you really get in sneakers, everyone has Foot Locker, like all these accounts. So if they say, oh, no, nah, I don't have the receipt. When you go buy sneakers, what do they always tell you at the register? Oh, you got an email, phone number, and you put a phone number. You got an email. So they have a receipt in the email. So don't let people try and trick you, right? I'm all about supporting resellers, but at the same time, not beginners that can't even give you liable proof. Like if you came to me and said, yo, I want to buy this and I have it. Oh, do I have proof? Yeah, it's annoying because like, trust me, I'm not selling you fakes. Look at my resume, look at my page. Look, like My pages are public for a reason. I'm not hiding anything. You get what I'm saying? So that's first and foremost, do your research. Stop trying to buy from people that their page has like no profile pic, but they got like 10 sneakers listed. Those 10 pictures could maybe be theirs or it could be pictures off some type of e like the internet somewhere. But then you ask for certain little information like, oh, can you meet me here? They're like, oh, no, nah, I can't meet there. Or it's just weird stuff. Like, when you start, when people start giving you the runaround, it's weird. Trust me. Just listen, and you won't get scammed. I would hate to get scammed, even if it's not personal. If it, I would never want to sell people fakes, because why would I, what I look like? That's ruining the brand anyways, right? So, off rip the key point thing. The key point, the key component to understanding it. To not get scammed. Smell your sneaker. Trust me. When you have real sneakers, the smell is everything. Right? And obviously, check the inside, the insoles. I'm not doing that to my shoe because this is a personal smile. I'm not taking it apart. But you could just tell, right? Because if you gave me a pair of fakes, I'm pretty sure I could tell based off the little steps I just gave you. It's not that complicated. It's not that hard. You guys make it harder than what it is. Like, you guys are like, oh, I got these. I don't know if it's fake. Um, I got them from sneakerfreaks.com. What? Like, that's just mad sus. They said, oh, it was 200 but free shipping. Like, first of all, Jubilee's is not even 200 So, you already caught yourself messing up right there. I don't know. But anyways... That's all out. That's my little tip for y'all. If you thought this is helpful, give a thumbs up, like the video. Uh, comment any questions, any tips, anything else you want to ask or question, just comment below. I'm going to respond to all comments. And stay tuned for more videos. I know it's been pretty dry, but this coming week, we got more sneakers coming out. So that means more pickups, hopefully. Cross our fingers. Um, so no further ado, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Remember 1k subs, we're doing a free giveaway. I want to hit 1k subs by the end of the year. So make sure you subscribe, share this video. Uh, yeah, share this.
channel to your friends, get people more people to subscribe to the channel. We need a thousand subs, so no further ado. We out of here. It's your boy Lil Roy, aka Lil Roy TV, and we out. Thank y'all for watching. Uh -huh.